So that was the challenge, a book which uh, we all liked very much indeed. Um, a central idea which seemed extremely strong, which was a handspring horse puppet um, going through the First World War. Uh, and, um, and the necessity of finding a story uh, which put the horse at its centre, uh, but which denied the horse a speaking voice. You take a book which is uh, something that you, one person usually reads on their own, and if they don't understand something, they can go back and say, oh, what was that? I need to, I need to pick that up again. And you can take as much time as you want to read it. You put a, a play on the stage, and we limited ourselves roughly to, say, two and a quarter hours. Then that's what you've got. And if you read a first-person story, you, you don't think, oh, that will make a good stage play. You think, oh, that's not ever going to be a stage play. Whereas with a third-person narrative, where you're standing outside and you're seeing all the characters, then that, that lends itself much more to adaptation. So the, there's a huge technical exercise where Joey stops being the narrator and starts being a character. And what the production does in a different way is it places innocence at the heart of human depravity and duplicity and mendacity and hopes it survives. Cut, Joey! Cut, Yeah!